Thank you, Mike, for that song. It kind of goes along with what I was going to speak on today about power and strength, where we get our power source from, and, and that is God. We sang a song with the kids up front, how my God is so big, he's so powerful. This morning I'm going to read in the, in the book of Ephesians, in chapter 6, starting in verse 10, talking about the armor of God. And I'm going to skip down to 13, where it says that uh, you need to put on the full armor of God so that the day of, when the day of evil comes, you'll be able to stand your ground. But I think so many times in our lives, we, uh, we only want to put the armor of God on on Sundays and Wednesdays and, and when evil comes and there's things going wrong in our lives. And we need to have that full armor of God each and every day when we wake up and when we go to bed, give him thanks for everything we have. We need to use our God. Last Sunday, our brother Mike came forward and wanted prayers for his surgery. And that was an example of using our Lord's strength and prayer, and I thank Mike for that. And we, uh, we gain our strength around the table here, the power and the blood. And so just each and every day, remember to put on that armor of God. So I'm going to read 10 through 18 in, in chapter 6 of, East, of Ephesians. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind. Be alert and always keep on praying for all the, peop for all the Lord's people. Let us give thanks for the, for the, for the, for the bread. 